Let's check out the TWAB for today, 1-12-2023. Revision Zero mission looks like. Happy New Year, Guardians, and welcome to the first TWAB of the year. We hope you all had a relaxing and peaceful holiday and that the new year treats you well. Between the moments of triumph, Iron Banner Fortress, Revision Zero, and gestures wildly to the game in general, there was a lot going on, so we want to make sure you have a lot of deadlines you need to you need before the season wraps up in 47 days. Grandmaster Nightfall is January 17th. Next Iron Banner, January 31st. Final week of Season 19, February 21st. Grandmaster Updates as a little preview of some changes coming to the Grandmaster Nightfalls and Lightfall. When Grandmaster launch on January 17th, we are making the following power adjustments. Decrease the power level needed to enter the Grandmaster by 25 to 1580, the powerful cap. Decrease the overall power level of Grandmaster activities by 10 to 1620. The current power difference of negative 25. All enemies are at least 25 above you. Is still in effect. This means you can enter 1580, but the enemies will be 40 of power above you. You can use the artifact and power in the pinnacle drops to increase effectiveness up to 1595, where you reach maximum effectiveness. We'll have much more information on further changes to the Grandmaster Nightfalls and other difficulty modes coming soon. Iron Banner. After two and a half seasons of playing the new Iron Banner, experiencing three new Iron Banner modes, Rift, Eruption, and Fortress, we have granted a lot of feedback and have upcoming changes to share. When the Iron Banner returns, we're planning to increase the amount of Iron Banner rank you earn at the end of matches, doubling the multipliers you get from wearing Iron Banner gear, halving multipliers you get from completing challenges, and significantly increasing the multiplier you get from wearing an Iron Banner emblem. We expect this to decrease the number of games needed to earn rank to reset by around 40% to make it worthwhile to play earlier in the week. thought they already went through this. Additionally, starting next week, Iron Banner will be available three times a season, and the Iron Banner emblem will be available on the rewards track during the first reset for those who don't already have one we'll have yeah i don't have one we'll have more information about the modes and dates to expect season 20 as we get closer to launch we got all the mods yesterday all standard mods were unlocked for everyone with big changes coming to build crafting and lightfall we want to give everyone a chance to enjoy all the standard mods in their current state for the rest of the season standard mods refer to everything Raid, Artifact Mods, players who want granted access to Armor Mods in yesterday's patch will not have to appear in the Unlock Collection. They can use them freely in their armor. We have a blog post planned for next week with more information on how mods and build crafting all up evolving in Lightfall. Alright, stay focused. Starting next week, we are making the following changes focusing on weapons and armor. Focusing costs... For Trials of Osiris, Iron Banner, Gambit, Weapons, Armor will be reduced to 25. Adept Weapons, Focus, Cost will be reduced to 50, down from 250. Glimmer, Cost, Focusing on Ritual Weapons will be reduced to 5,000, down from 10,000. Alright, you guys can read through that. Yes, you can pet the dog. Well, where's this dog at everybody's been talking about? We got Star Horse. i seen Star Horse. Our team has been really able to stress their creativity when it comes to adding fun, delightful characters into the game like Fallen Babies, Bobbleheads, and Star Horse. A few weeks ago, a metallic pupper was discovered on the space station and added to our hearts. We wanted to share just a little bit about this sweet dog and how it came to be. Each season, we spent a bit brainstorming of fun little Easter eggs, and for this season, everyone wanted to build a robot dog, but it wasn't that easy. After the, after the team came up with the idea, the first question, can I pet it? And we knew the answer had better be yes. So quickly perform interesting tests to confirm petting the dog was indeed possible. Uh, we can watch the video, the video play. They're just testing. 
So that's the dog that you get to pet. I seen that dog. Where do I get to pet this dog at? After tons of folks added their own creative contributions across many teams, we finally had Archangel the good boy below. Archangel. We know a lot about Archie and are concerned about the future. They are leaving the helm at the end of the season, but they'll be returning to the tower in season 21 for more pets. Oh, so he's at the helm. We'll go check out the helm. So where is he at the helm? Somewhere. Oh, okay. Our goal in creating a real world made to merchandise. Okay, Bungie store update is to give eligible players opportunities to celebrate end game achievements. Depending on the product, it can take up to 12 months for the manufactured physical merchandise and varying transit times to distribution centers with live service game like Destiny Pro's allow us to offer physical rewards without putting a limit on the number of players who can participate in purchasing collectible rewards. We share commitment to our community that deserves an exponential ordering exp experience and we understand that we have not always hit that bar. We acknowledge that we need to make improvements in this area including offering alternative approaches that will create a better ordering experience. Improve speed to market without compromising quality or customer service. We will be casting a wide net of to engage with players feedback which will inform the best to address the issue being discussed. Save your Stadia characters. That stuff's going away. Check it out, guys. If you're into Stadia, if you have a Stadia account, make sure you switch it to, like, Xbox or PlayStation or PC. I don't know. Yeah, you guys got to do that. All the known issues. Movies of the week. Pretty light this week. Artists of the week. Oh, Archangel. Archangel. All right, and that's, <clears throat> excuse me, and that's a wrap for this week's TWAB, Guardians. We hope this year is kind to you. We don't have a lot of time before Lightfall launches, but still a lot to cover. Be prepared for a lot more exciting updates leading up to launch. Thank goodness. One more time for the Stadia players in the back. Please set up cross save. Stay crafty, Sam. And that is your Bungie TWAB for today. I'm going to go pet the dog and make a video on it. Peace out, guys. Have a wonderful day. Later.